another month of soap making here at Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I'm the Duchess of Suds here at this channel. And this month's theme is, can I get a drum roll please? Tutti Fruity. So everything is going to be fruit themed this month. I hope you guys like the lineup. I am so delighted. Summer's almost here and I wanted to transition with something really uplifting, lots of fun colors, lots of fun vibrant fragrances. I think we need it. A lot of people in April are having very gloomy weather. You know what they say about the April showers making May flowers. So we want to bring that pop of color and that vibrance right now. If you are enjoying the background as you guys did last month, I'm so glad you liked the background last month. I've tried to make it fun and interesting this month too. If you like any of the things here, I'll try to link as many of them as I can. There are certain things like this pot um, that I can't link because I got it like on sale at Ross or whatever. And so it's probably one of a kind. However, there are plenty of things I can link like this shirt and also these little hair clips. These have fruit in them. Look, I'll bring them close so you can see because they're so cute. Do you see the fruit? Oh, <laughs> I love them. And yes, I have glitter in my hair and all of the makeup is from the new ColourPop collection. If you millennials didn't know that ColourPop did a Lizzie McGuire collection, let me be the first to tell you. <laughs> because it's everything. I had my twilight night with my best friend Caroline. If you don't know about that, you need to follow me on TikTok. We do a twilight night. On twilight night at like 1 a.m. I went and opened up like Instagram or whatever and saw somebody else had it and I was like, that's it. I'm buying every single thing in the collection. And I did. And I bought another of everything so that I could give away the entire ColourPop X Lizzie McGuire collection to one of you guys at the end of this month. There's a special video for that. You'll see it coming. So what are we making today? Well, we're going to make sweet blueberry cream. It's going to be so delightful. I know you guys really like whenever I do blue soaps and there is a lot of blue in this. Also, I have a special guest. That's right. I have a special guest to join me for quite a few of the videos this month and they are going to ask me questions. Also, over the next few months, if you see uh, thumbnails and titles of our videos that look slightly different than how we normally do, just know that Caleb and I are actually running tests kind of in the background because we have found that over the past 30 days, the, uh, the uh, platform for which these uh, videos are being uploaded to, I don't want to say anything negative because I don't know if the algorithm gods are listening. But basically we know for a fact that they have greatly reduced the amount of inboxes and subscription boxes that they are putting our videos into. We're not sure why they would penalize our channel like that, especially because we don't have any strikes. We're very advertiser friendly, but it, it doesn't seem to matter. We don't really know why they're doing that, but they definitely are. Um, and there's pretty much empirical evidence to prove it. So if you see things going up on the channel that you think are like, wow, that's kind of an outrageous title for Katie. She normally just tells us what it is. We're just trying to catch the algorithm. That's all it is. We're just trying to go into our subscribers inboxes. I'm not trying to go viral or anything like that. I'm just trying to get my video to the people who subscribed who want to see it. That's all. <laughs> So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay guys, the first soap of the Tutti Fruity soap collection being released in May. It is going to be such a great collection. And we're starting off with a bit of a throwback. Now, I've made plenty of blueberry soaps in the past. This one is very similar to some of the other ones that I've made, but I'm trying to put a fresh spin on it per usual. So the first thing we have to do is pour our lye water solution into the oils. My recipe that I am using is down in the description box below. So if you are a soap maker, you would like to make soap like me, you can use my recipe. It's down there. All of the percentages are listed and I am soaping at about room temperature, which for me right now is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And now using my Cuisinart stick blender, I am going to blend this on high until just past emulsion. So I'm going to pour my batch into these four white pitchers from Dollar Tree. 
<laughs> we love them. And I'm just gonna split it uh, pretty equally. I'm gonna eyeball it, but um, I'm pretty good at guessing at this point in time. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect though because we are going to be putting it all in a big swirly batch of goodness right back into this main bucket I'm scraping out of. So you'd never be able to tell if there's a little more of one than another. Scrape of tea, scrape of tea. My big container tea. A very special guest is here with me in the studio while I'm making soap. I will introduce them in the soap frosting portion. So. Be sure to stay tuned. This person has not uh, been in videos with me for a good many years, actually. It will be nice to have them back, but you guys are gonna have to wait because we have got to put some colorants in. The first one I'm adding is called Twilight Blue. It is a really, really lovely dark blue shade. I'm pretty sure that it's made with ultramarine blue, but it's a little bit darker than that. Going to scrape that out using the world's smallest spatula that was sent in by one of the Royal Court members to my P.O. box, and I am very appreciative. And now I'm gonna put some ultramarine blue into this container right here. That's gonna be a nice bright blue. We're gonna put some titanium dioxide into this container right here. Mix it up, boop, boop, boop. And then finally, we have some Key West Blue. That is our final color. That is a very um, kind of kitty blueberry color. If something was blue raspberry flavored, uh, it would be this Key West Blue. That's <laughs> definitely accurate. And then we're gonna add our fragrance oil. So here's the fun part about the fragrance oil. Not only does it smell almost exactly like blueberries, but this is apparently a Bath and Body Works duplication smell. This is available at Wholesale Supplies Plus, and the fragrance oil name is Fresh Picked Blueberry. It is the best blueberry scent uh, that I have personally found. It makes your soap really runny, so you can do lots of swirls. It's great. And now I am going to blend everything up with my stick blend get all those colors incorporated. Okay, and now it is time to mix up our colors. So I'm going to place my now empty large container right here on the counter. I'm gonna wipe it down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna pour in some twilight blue to the middle. I'm gonna pour in some Key West Blue here on the side. Just gonna let that roll down the side. Then I'm gonna do my titanium dioxide or my white. Oopsie daisies. Um, <laughs> that was not a good idea. What a crime. Should have been using a spatula. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and now the ultramarine blue. So I'm just gonna pour that down the side here about halfway. And then we're going to do it again. So all the twilight blue, these are a little similar in color and I'm gonna see how that ends up turning out in the final soap. It could be that they're too similar and it could be that I have to add a little bit of black oxide, but you know, you know, we, we don't know everything the first time we're making it. All right, put our Key West blue right in there. Ladle it right on in. Scrapey, scrapey. I'll batch containy. Again, because this is a frosted soap, we're not gonna be coming back to any of these containers, so I need to get all of it into the bucket right now. I'm gonna pour this right in. And finally, the ultra marine blue. Final scrape. This actually takes a long time to do, especially when you have a bigger batch, but uh, it doesn't take a long time to pour it because it's all in one big container. So you're kind of spending your time getting it out here and then you can just dump it into all of your molds over there. So that's exactly what we are going to do. We're just going to dump this bucket into our brambleberry molds after this quick commercial break. Alrighty, here are the two brambleberry molds. So I am going to squeeze this. This is gonna be so satisfying. 
and we're just going to drip it right into the mold. Look how runny. It is just runny enough to make a lot of beautiful swirls, but not so runny that it's going to over mix. That's a really, really, really fine line. I'm actually gonna pour it lengthwise for this one. See if we prefer that look. I'll make a note of it, I think, when we come back to cut these of if we like it poured from the side or front to back. Hey, assistant person that I haven't announced yet, don't say anything because then they'll <laughs> they'll probably know who you are. Um, write me a little card that says um, front to back and the other one that says side to side on a piece of tape. <laughs> <laughs> so I can mark these and we can keep them separate. That's right, y'all aren't getting any hints. The tape is in the box, dearie. That's right, y'all get no hints, no voice hints. Y'all can guess who it is. So here's our front to back. Here's our side to side. It is very watery and very runny right now. So I'm gonna place these off to the side and allow them to set up a little bit. We'll mix up the soap frosting and put that on top with the embeds and the glitter after this quick commercial break. Okay guys, so my soap frosting is a little bit watery, but we're gonna try to use it anyway because give us the time, Caroline. It's 12.31 a.m. <laughs> That's right. And surprise, Caroline is our special guest of honor tonight. <laughs> Are you ready to know the burning questions that people want to know, Katie? <laughs> that makes sense? I think so. I know what you're saying. Oh, yes, I am ready. That could mean anything. Okay, think real hard. All right. What's the worst thing you've ever eaten in order to be polite? Um, sour cream enchiladas. <laughs> Without a doubt, you have I can. So I know it really is the worst. I can think of exactly the person who made it. I know exactly where I was standing when it happened. Oh no! Burnt into my brain. I tried so hard. You hated them, precious. I still do. <laughs> hate sour cream. Yes. Or, oh. Can't stand it. I didn't know that. Though, I will say, I don't mind baking with it. <laughs> okay. Because it goes away. I mean, as long as I can't taste it, we're fine. <laughs> Who's a bad guy from fiction who was actually right? Um, I struggle to think of any book character at all. <laughs> I feel like Captain Hook is misunderstood. <laughs> How dare you, no, you no. traitor. <laughs> like he was the captain of his big kahuna and then all these little tyrant boys came and ransacked it and he was rightfully like heap ho get off <laughs> he's like I don't well, like I that might, boy with baby teeth <laughs> I kind of sympathize with um, Long John Silver I just I kind of sympathize with him I don't know if you got me thinking about pirates and that's why I'm saying that what are your favorite oh wait I'm an adult with my own money thanks to do. And not wash out gallon sized freezer bags and reuse them eight times. <laughs> it was as a child just the looking at this poor pitiful freezer bag that barely shut anymore and my mom being like I bet I could get one more use out of that. I don't want to pay another 80 cents for a bag. Or washing red solo cups and plasticware. Yeah, there's a couple of, I guess, splurgy things I do. I mean, it is dumb stuff like that. It's only like, ooh, I'm going to not buy off brand um, dishwasher tablets because let me tell you what, if you don't have the Platinum Cascade, you're wasting your time. <laughs> Use the dishwasher rinse aid. It will change your life. It will change your life. Who is your favorite couple in all of fiction? And Anne Shirley and Gilbert Blythe. Aw, sweet little peas. <laughs> yours. I really like Eleanor from Sense and Sensibility. Oh yeah. That's, That's a great couple. Too, right? Time for some Arctic sparkle from the good glitter of which of course you know I am an affiliate. I don't remember what my <laughs> note 
code is. But don't worry, it'll be down in the description box below. And you can get 15% off your purchase of biodegradable and eco-friendly glitter precious. You know you need it in your life. So we will sprinkle this on a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. I don't want it to be too distracting because I do have three embeds going on each individual bar here. Um, and they are the, the real star of the show. So we're just going to sprinkle these sprinkle a little bit on there just like that blah, 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 blah. okay and now it's time for embeds you guys have probably seen me use these I get my embed molds for blueberries at Vanule. that's where I got these and I got like 144 Cavendies at a time it might be even more than that because they're just so tiny but I'm gonna put three on each bar while Caroline continues to ask me uh, such riveting questions what smell evokes a memory for you. I will say anytime I smell anything that resembles Fruity Pebbles, the cereal, I get like an instant flashback to my dad in one of the houses we lived in on a Saturday morning watching a TV show with me on this couch that was like a really comfortable couch with stripes on it and it had like a, a lovely fabric. It felt like linen. I know it wasn't, but it it felt like linen and I just love that couch and so it gives me all the warm and fuzzies. This question is for married people, so that's you. That's what me. What was your first impression of your spouse? Oh, I loved him <laughs> immediately. I was like, he's mysterious. And what's funny is that I've told our little love story a couple of times on the channel, but I have always mentioned you, Caroline, mm -hmm. as part of it and what you said. So you should give your impression <laughs> of our first meeting because they've never heard your side of it. I don't think, I definitely didn't notice him as early as you did, obviously, because you had taken quite a fancy. So I had to go looking for him when you were like, I want to dance with that boy. <laughs> <laughs> My first like memory is you and I sitting down because it was like the guy's turn to ask the girls to dance. Right. And I could see you, oh, oh, so. Just pining oh, away. So patiently waiting and hoping and dreaming that he would come. I could see you looking at Caleb. And so that was probably the first time I noticed him. Is like, okay, clearly that's the boy. Katie has set her cap on. <laughs> and she wants him to come ask her to dance by George. And he did. And I thought, <laughs> what a skinny, dark eyed man. <laughs> Where was the lie? Where was the lie, though? And I saw you dancing with him, and I thought to myself, wow, she's smitten as a kitten. Yep. I wish I remembered the next dance better. Where? Do you remember me crying on your floor? Oh, for sure. No, that's a memory you can never forget. That's when I'd be like, I, I love him. I did. With tears in her eyes. Caroline, please make me popcorn. I have fallen in love this night. That's right, I, I have. I don't know that I shall ever see him again. What a romantic first meeting. It really is. And when people are like, do you believe it? love at first sight? I have to say yes, because it literally happened to me. Aw, that's so true. What do you think is a common mistake okay. young people in their 20s make without realizing it? Being scared of credit cards. <laughs> And then not building their credit score so that when it comes time to buy something large, they don't have one and cannot buy said thing. Don't be afraid of credit cards. Credit cards are your friend. <laughs> they, they help you. You pay them off freshly. Well, yes. If you're responsible with them. That's right. If you treat them like a debit card, yeah. <laughs> they are your friend. What will you shamelessly admit to being a fangirl? Uh, one Direction. <laughs> one, one Direction all the way, Nile. Also, I feel like Taco Bell is a shameless. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah but you sh you. you should love Taco Bell. There's no shame. No one should have shame about Taco Bell. What's one mystery you'd like solved before you die? <gasps> uh, I, but I don't about myself. Yeah, I feel I like there's so. Anything. It's probably not a mystery, and lots of people probably know. But I want to know why some foods taste so much better cold slash frozen Ooh. than others. That's a good thought. Like, why is frozen mac and cheese not okay? <laughs> But cold cake or even frozen cake? Hmm. Give me a slice. I would like to know if whenever I went over to my neighbor's house, whenever I was like seven and I picked up their fish and held it for too long, I would like to know if I killed that fish. Oh! 
or if it made it because I threw it back in the water whenever my mom called my name and I didn't look to see if it swam away. And so to this day, I still don't know if the fish made it. I really had no idea that that would hurt the fish. I loved it so much, I wanted to hug it and hold it. So I didn't understand that that would hurt the fish, but then when my mom saw it, she's like, hey, hey. And so I threw it back in and I never looked to see and now as an adult I'm like, oh my gosh, did it swim away? A deep memory. A deep memory. That's the mystery I want solved and there you go guys. Sweet blueberry cream looking delicious. And this is what our little soapy soap looks like up close. Yes, the hollow, the arctic sparkle. It looks so good. We will be back in 18 to 24 hours to split these little loaves into bars and take a peek at the inside after this quick commercial break. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Time for the first cut of the month. <gasps> It looks so good. It smells incredible. Just like fresh blueberries, my very favorite fragrance. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up with my cutter here. Little Kermit. Natasha is in storage, you guys. A couple of you have been asking for her. She's in storage. Whenever my studio is finished, we'll get her out. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So if you remember, I have two different pours. This is the front to back. I'm checking to make sure. Yes, the front to back pour. And then we will also cut the side to side. This just looks like a really super intense drop swirl, but it still looks so good. Like everything is clearly very separate. You can see all the colors. Wow, that that is, that's mesmerite. Mesmerizing? Mesmerizing. <laughs> this fragrance is also definitely on the sweeter side. So for those of y'all who kind of like a sweet fruity smell, then this is, this is the one. I will be taking one of these home with me. Okay, so question of the day is blueberry themed, of course. I want to know, have you ever had blueberries and cream? So it's a dessert that you can whip up and you just take some cream. You can add a little bit of sugar to it and then throw some blueberries in there. I have had it before. My mom made it for us one year after we went blueberry picking because there are a lot of blueberry farms where I live. I live in Texas and that's a, one of the really easy things to grow, blueberries and blackberries. I'm actually growing blackberries myself this year. That is my goal. I have five plants, but we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, it's easier to grow here in Texas because we have uh, really warm climates, which they enjoy. And uh, yeah, we would go pick them every single year. We'll probably go again this year. They're really inexpensive if you go pick your own. You can get, you know, probably two gallons for like five bucks, I want to say. You can get like a whole gallon size bag for like five bucks. I'm not even joking. So if you're in Texas and you've never gone to a pick your own blueberry field, you should try it out because it's definitely worth your time. And it's a really fun memory to have with your girlfriends or, you know, your kids or whatever. That is something that sticks out in my childhood as being like one of the quintessential moments of summer. So Try that if you've never tried a blueberry picking before. Okay, so now let's cut the side to side option. Press down. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Look at this. Completely different type of swirl. Look at that. Completely different. Completely different. It was the same consistency, the same colors, the exact same batch poured into the mold, slightly different, and it will yield an entirely different outcome in the bar. And I honestly can't decide which one I like more. I might let Instagram vote on it and uh, not tell them what it's for. <laughs> Like just chop it out and be like, which swirl do you like more? Thanks guys so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing today's soap or any of the others in the 2D Fruity Collection, well, the official launch date is right on the screen. You should set an alarm on your phone or use Instagram to set one because we do sell out typically quickly. However, for the past couple of months, we have been able to keep things in stock up to a week. So we're getting better, we're getting more stock, and we increase every month like I've told you guys. 
and uh, a lot of you seem to really appreciate that. We've got a lot of good customer feedback, so I'm very, very happy. Um, but that is the launch date for Tutti Frutti. Uh, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, listening to my friend Caroline. I had the absolute best time filming with her, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. So until then, bye for now. Meow. <laughs>